Okay, hello everybody, welcome back. We're here, me and my baby. Um, I had to carry her because she couldn't stop crying. So, um, yeah, welcome uh, to the channel. Uh, subscribe if you haven't, and hit that bell. Ding, 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 ding. Hit that bell for notifications when I'm making a video for you. So, I don't know, just life, you know, sometimes you got to take it easy and think about the bigger picture. And um, my, ni my niche is, uh, you know, I want to like teach people, well, I want to teach people how to cut hair because I'm a barber, so, um, but I just want to teach people my trade, how I became a barber and it, it was fascinating how art could be in different ways, it could be used in different ways and anything you do is art as long as you love it and you put passion to it. It could be anything, cutting grass, uh, painting houses, carving wood, carving wood. So, I, I, you know, I used to cut my own hair. So my, my wife told me one time, because I used to cut her brother's hair, you know, with some rustic clippers that'll give you cancer in five hours. Um, so, and Mildo, and, um, and she told me, well, you don't become a barber. I'm like, what? Pallets and shipping to trucks. So my, my experience, I had a lot of jobs, but um, when the barbering thing came into effect, it was very, very nerve wracking. I was so nervous. You know, I was like, man. What we had left is for the rent. And my wife said, take this money and buy the Clippers. <laughs> yep. I bought my clippers with the rent money. It was ready there, the rent money was, the rent was due, you know, in three weeks, or whatever. So I bought the clippers, expensive, man. If you wanna be a barber, you gotta invest. So I bought the clippers, and I was so nervous because I was, you know, behind my, my head, I was thinking, I gotta make this money for the rent. But I also had my fish, you know, so I was doing that, making sure I need to make their uh, three or four hundred bucks a week. So to, you know, but the barbering was, you know, like part time. So, but still, I took the rent money. So, so anyway, I bought the clippers, started working, and I started cutting hair little by little. I messed up a lot of hair. You're gonna mess up a lot of hair. Don't, it's just that he's nervous. Every aspect, you're nervous in any way. I, I had some plastic scissors, plastic scissors. I was cutting, this guy had very coarse hair and I snapped at the plastic scissors. I think it was for cutting paper. So, I cut the guy and the scissors fell on his head. It just, it just fell on his head by pieces with some hair. And he would looked at me like, What's that? What happened? I'm like, oh no, everything's okay. It's just scissors, you know, they break. So anyway, he left, came back like an hour later. We had to fix his hair because I messed it up. Anyways, that happens. People, you know, first time, you're gonna get nervous, you're gonna cut your finger. I cut my, I cut my finger like I was a butcher. I was blood, I was meat hanging. <laughs> so I was like, forget about it. So anyway, I kept going. I was always you gotta have in your mind, you always gotta keep going. Don't give up, because when you give up, that's it. You will re regret it all your life. Keep going, keep going. I taught people, I taught people how to cut hair, do this, do that, when I was already in the, in the game for a while. And they said, thanks, man. Thanks, Will, you made it. This is how it is. Never give up. 
In barbering, nobody could say that the best is all a lie. When you're in the barbershop, you all have different styles. That's the thing that people don't understand. You have different styles. This guy does the face differently than he does. Does the lining, he shaves softer, his hands rough, and everybody has different styles, man. Styles make, you know, make, it, make it makes a difference. People can't say, oh, he cuts better. No, it's bull crap. I've cut people and I left them crispy. And some other guy cut them and he was practically new. The guy liked the way he cut because he liked his style. Style make fights, that's what I was gonna say. And <laughs> boxing. But that's you know part of my journey of becoming a barber. And I've been cutting hair in the game for like 15 years, you know, in and out. But um, it's, it's a journey every day. You learn something different. There's a new rapper, a new crazy person got a different kind of hair style like Rihanna. When that came out, forget about it. All the girls whoosh, chop it off, leave it alone. I said, what? This can't be real. Every, even old people. People that didn't have hair, they got wigs like that. I'm like, what? So you gotta adapt right away. You better learn how to cut it right away. So that's a little piece of what I know. And if you have any questions on any kind of topic that you wanna know, you ask me, leave a comment below and I'll answer it. And I'll let you know from my experience. So. And also, my Instagram is the same name as my, my YouTube. So, you can check out my haircuts there and boom, that will, you know, we'll show you some, what, some cuts I do, you know. But um, find your style, find the way you are, that's the first thing you gotta do. You don't go fast, people always going super fast, you know, for what? Don't do that. Don't speed to a ticket, no speed to a car accident. Take your time. When you get and gain experience, then you 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 know the shortcuts. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, there's a little a little info on on me. I got many more stories, a lot more. So just subscribe, share, and like. And um, I don't know. We'll keep talking about this topic and um, I'm going to perform haircuts and I'll be teaching you how to do it while I'm cutting. So I'm going to give you the insight. Just ask me and right below any questions. All right? All right? All the glory is to God. Remember that? So, all right. I think we're ready. We're ready. All right, guys. I'll check you later. God bless. My, my regular job, it was a second shift or third shift. My, um, my, my regular job, it was a second shift or third shift. I was working at this uh, fish company that makes a fish in the food for fish, you know. So I was doing that, making sure I need to make their uh, three or four hundred bucks a week. So, so, you know, but the barbering was, you know, like part time. So, but still, I took the red one. So, so anyway, I bought the clippers, started working, and I started cutting hair little by little. I messed up a lot of hair. You're gonna mess up a lot of hair. Don't, it's just that you're nervous. Every aspect, you're nervous in any way. I, I had some plastic scissors. Plastic scissors. I was cutting this guy he had very coarse hair, and I snapped at the plastic scissors. I think it was for cutting paper. So I cut the guy, and the scissors fell on his head. It just it just fell on his head by pieces with some hair, and he would looked at me like, "What's that? What happened?" I'm like, "Oh no, everything's okay. It just..." Scissors, you know, they break. 
So anyway, he left, came back like an hour later. We had to fix his hair because I messed it up. Anyways, that happens. People, you know, first time, you're going to get nervous. You're going to cut your finger. I cut my I cut my finger like I was a butcher. I was blood, I was meat hanging. <laughs> so I was like, forget about it. So anyway, I kept going. I was always, you gotta have in your mind, you always gotta keep going. Don't give up. Because when you give up, that's it. You will re regret it all your life. Keep going, keep going. I taught people. I taught people how to cut hair, do this, do that. When I was already in the, in the game for a while. And they said, thanks, man. Thanks, Will. You made it. This is how it is. Never give up. In barbering, nobody could say that the best is all a lie. When you're in the barbershop, you all have different styles. That's the thing that people don't understand. You have different styles. This guy does the face differently than he does. Does the lining. He shaves softer and hands rough and... Everybody has different styles, man. Styles make, you know, make it, make it makes a difference. People can't say, oh, he cuts better. No, it's bull crap. I've cut people and I left them crispy. And some other guy cut them and he was practically new. The guy liked the way he cut because he liked his style. Style make fights, that's what I was going to say. And <laughs> boxing. But it, that's, you know, part of my journey of becoming a barber. And I've been cutting hair in the game for like 15 years, you know, in and out. But um, it's, it's a journey every day. You learn something different. There's a new rapper, a new crazy person got a different kind of hair. Style like Rihanna when that came out, forget about it. All the girls whoosh, chop it off, leave it alone. I said, "What? Well, this can't be real." Every, even old people, people that didn't have hair, they got wigs like that. I'm like, "What?" So you gotta adapt right away. You better learn how to cut it right away. So that's a little piece of what I know. And if you have any questions on any kind of topic that you want to know, you ask me, leave a comment below, and I'll answer it, and I'll let you know from my experience. So, And also, my Instagram is the same name as my, my YouTube. So you can check out my haircuts there, and boom, that will, you know, we'll show you some, what, some cuts I do, you know. But um, find your style, find the way you are. That's the first thing you gotta do. You don't go fast. People always going super fast, you know, for what? Don't do that. Don't speed to a ticket. Don't speed to a car accident. Take your time. When you get and gain experience, then you, you, you know the shortcuts. You know what I'm saying? So. Anyways, there's a little, a little info on, on me. I got many more stories, a lot more. So just subscribe, share, and like. And um, I don't know. We'll keep talking about this topic. And um, I'm going to perform haircuts. And I'll be teaching you how to do it while I'm cutting. So I'm going to give you the insight. Just ask me and right below any questions. All right? All right? All the glory is to God. Remember that? So, all right. I think we're ready. We're ready. All right, guys. I'll check you later. God bless.